Hello YouTube, it's Das Gregor, and welcome to another new series that I'm going to be starting. We'll call this I3 Tidbits, or Das's Journey as He Learns New Things. <laughs> In my last video, I talked about how I tried I3 for the first time, how Irish from the Linux distro community challenged me to try something outside of KDE, which some of you know I have been using since the 2.x days in 2002. And I have strayed from KDE off and on through the many years of Linux, but seldom have I stayed away. I always end, end up coming back to KDE because it's my comfort. But anyway, I'm trying i3, and I'm finding some neat new features within it, and I wanted to share this particular one. I wanted to be able to open applications in a floating setup instead of them opening by the default in as much real estate as it can, which is normally by default. For instance, to give you an example. In KDE, if I needed to look at a calendar, I would come over here down to the taskbar and I'd just click on the date and time and it would pop open a little calendar and I'd see what I needed and get out of it and all would be good. You cannot do that with NI3, so I searched for some other solutions and found X Calendar, which looked like a great alternative. But my problem was, when I would hit Alt-D to open up the D menu and type in X Calendar to open it, I got this full screen calendar and I'm like, whoa, this is way too big. I don't need this much. Plus, if you've got other windows open, it really hoses stuff. And then I started thinking, there are a lot of little utilities like the calendar, uh, calculator, simple screen recorder, for example. Well, you don't want the intro screen to be in a full screen or using up as much real estate as you can. So how can we fix that? And I found a solution. So if we open up our terminal and we want to first install xprop. So we do an emerge-av xprop and I've already installed this so we will see what it pulls up and it should just be the one application and you see it's right there so no we don't want to do that because we already have it. Now the first thing you're going to want to do now that you've installed xprop and you have the window that you want to open up in a floating style, you go ahead and type in xprop over here and you notice your icon changes to a plus sign. We go back over here somewhere in the, I lost my icon, there we go, somewhere over here you just click on it and it's going to give you information about this. Now what we are concerned about is this WM class string and we notice that it has X calendar and X calendar with the capital X and capital C. Now the first time I tried this I tried it with the lowercase and it wasn't working and maybe I had a typo so I went with the second one and now it seems to be good. So what we do once we get this block of information right here this is what's important you want to remember that we want to edit the i3 file. So we nano-w.config and I also have arg! I also have shortcuts that go ahead and do this by writing scripts so I don't have to remember this all the time. But I am spelling it out for you so that you can see it. We go into i3 config. I've created a little setup here for floating window apps and I've gone ahead and even done this for simple screen recorder as I said that would be useful I need to go ahead and start doing things for cal or the calculator and other applications that I find would be better to open up in a float instead now what we want to do is add this line right here for underscore window space open bracket class with a capital C equals quotation capital X capital C for X calendar end quotation close bracket space floating space enabled that command right here and let's make that just a little bit bigger so that you guys can see that if you can't see it there's as big as I uh, big as I'll go for now so that you can see right here that's the command line you want to set now we've uncommented it out 
and now we're going to save our setup and we're going to do a shift alt R to refresh our screen. Now when we did that it immediately realizes that the terminal is now the main focused window that will go full screen because this is a floater and this is now floating and we can now use our alt and mouse to move it and get it on the screen wherever we want it or if we're done with it we can do the shift alt Q and remove it. But the cool thing about this is if we do alt D and open up X calendar now it will automatically open in a floating window and then we can move it wherever we want to move it and we no longer have to have it using up so much real estate. Now if you open something as a float you're not locked into it being open. You can still highlight it and use the shift mod key and spacebar now when I say alt sometimes instead of mod key that's because I've set my mod to be the alt instead of the windows key but that is of course something that is a personal preference that you can also set within the i3 and now we're back to having it utilizing in full mode instead of floating mode and of course if you want to change that back you do the shift mod space again and you're back to there but the cool thing about this is you don't have to worry about if you've got a whole bunch of stuff running and you need to open up a calendar or a notepad or whatever little application or tool you want to use just to do something and get out of it you don't have to mess up having it try to rearrange all your applications to put it in its best available capability you can just have it open immediately in a float use it and get out of it boom good to go so I hope that little hint tidbit is useful for those of you who have been using tiling manager windows for a long time you probably already knew that but for those of you who are new to i3 maybe have found this out and said hey here's this noobs idea uh, and I'm wanting to think about this too that might be useful so if it's morning evening noon or night whatever you're having enjoy it thanks for watching guys bye